Hello YouTube! How alternators work and how can you modify them to push, let's say, 16.8 volts? Let's find out! So, okay, keeping everything short as possible and as easy to understand as possible, I will be explaining here some of the facts that the alternators have and how can you modify to boost the voltage of the alternator. So in alternator you have the chassis of the alternator, then you have uh, this kind of thing. Actually I have everything here in Finnish so uh, I don't actually know what these are in English. So basically you have this thing inside that rotates. You have the uh, pulley wheels or these connected to here and you have two ball bearings in here and in here and these stay still and this rotates. Whoa! Okay, so you uh, put some electricity in this, making this a electromagnetic magnet and uh, you have this voltage regulate. Your alternator produces electricity and this pushes it back into the alternator. Uh, there are two kind of alternators, one that does like this and one that has voltage regulator outside of the alternator. This here is Volvo alternator and you can see here it produces 12 volts to here and this connects to the connects here and produces 12 voltage back to, into the alternator. So basically you are making this a electromagnetic and it, it has north and south poles here and it rotates. Okay. Then you add this uh, on the outer side of, of this like so. And this rotates inside here. What this does, it has uh, loops of copper inside a iron, so it produces electricity. It produces actually uh, alternating currents. You have three phase alternating currents produced in here. And uh, first alternating current is like so, and it's a sine wave. And then you have second, it's roughly, I think it was 120 degrees off from the first, like so, and then you have third down here. Let's cut it right here. So I made a mistake how I explained how this uh, diode rectifier works. So here is a short video. Every shout out to Transpower and Zeta who, who has made this video. And here we see all those three phases of the electricity that the stator um, produces. And everything goes into the diode rectifier seen here. As you can, as you can see here, the first uh, plus side output here goes through to the diodes like so and produces this highest peak here and the next second wave the negative sides can get out from here so it also produces um, another positive side here and when you have three phases 100 to degree uh, offset from in uh, each others and you use a diode rectifier to turn the negative side up and line them correctly you basically have very very straight and stable DC current coming out from your alternator. Uh, thanks for Jonas Karjalainen who helped me to understand how this diode rectifier works in these alternators. Okay now we know that only thing that produces the electricity is this and the stator. Actually, I, stator, I remember that this, this was called stator. So when you, the electricity that goes inside this, come on, inside this uh, makes the alternator put more voltage out or less voltage out. It's determined by this voltage regulator. If we can fool this, we can make the alternator put out more voltage. And how we can fool this? Well, the basic way is to just remove this. Uh, this is inside the alternator, so this is hard to fix. So basically we need to remove all these components here, this, this resistor and this out and put a DC DC step down module inside your car and run your wires so that from the alternator you get ground from here and plus 12 volts from here inside your voltage regulator and you uh, change this potentiometer to uh, lower the voltage 
out from this and feed it back into the alternator through this and and, and that makes the alternator produce more electricity it goes uh, roughly one in uh, if you step down the vol the voltage one volt it steps up the voltage one volt so if you want 16.8 volts out from a 12 volt alternator you step it down uh, down to 12 volts so from 12 volts to 14.4 volts it's 2.4 volts and when you step up from 14.4 uh, a 2.4 volts it goes up to 16.8 so you can charge your 14 volt batteries with a 12 volt ba uh, car battery charger simple as that uh, some alternators like gm motors have outside the voltage regulator is outside so you only have one pin going here which is much 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 more easier to manipulate with so basically you use scotty diode or normal diodes to lower down the voltage that goes into the alternator so it makes it makes it produce more voltage it does not produce more amperage though if you have 100 uh, amps 12 volts alternator and you change it to produce 120 volts you get only 10 amps out of it so you cannot make the alternator produce more amperage uh, if you want you need to change the fully full components from the another alternator i think th between these if you have more windings here or less windings here you can make it more uh, you can make the alternator produce more amperage don't quote me on that i'm not 100 percent sure if it works like that so uh, basically with scotty diodes or dc dc step down modules or just basic uh, voltage regulators this is actually a voltage regulator but it's it's eb ebay style this costs four euros that's four dollars five dollars uh, so with these you can manipulate the incoming voltage into the first state of the alternator thus making it produce more voltage on the second state which is transformed with diode rectifiers to produce higher voltage out from your alternator simple as that so i will be modifying this alternator let's see how it goes i will be breaking this and using this step down module to provide it a uh, uh, voltage that I want. If you use Scotty diodes, you have uh, from 0 0.2 to 0 0.6 volt uh, drop between the diodes. If you put them in series, you can drop it down 0 0.6, 0 0.6, it's 1.2 volts. So four diodes can bring your voltage up to 16.8. Four diodes in a series into the hot wire, the excite wire of your alternator can make your alternator produce voltage up from 40.4 up to 16.8. So making you a fully compatible uh, 14 volt alternator. Now your car does not work properly in 16.8 uh, volts. It might work, but don't quote me on that. Uh, basically, uh, everything should work, but I'm not saying that new cars will work. That's about it. Thank you for watching. Like if you like, dislike if you dislike, and leave a comment if I did something wrong, told something wrong, or... Uh, do you have in mind of modifying your alternator? <laughs>